put Putin on trial for war crimes. President Biden condemns Russia's actions as more evidence emerges of atrocities. Our team in Ukraine has witnessed the horrors left by Russian troops near Kyiv, with civilians lying dead in the streets. All the people are, or they are killed, being killed, or they went away. So, so that, that, that is the answer. That's why you, you are here. So tonight, climate alert. The United Nations says it's now or never to save the planet. Continuing controversy over conversion therapy, the backlash facing the government over broken promises. Well, I suppose it's because I believe that there's always a reason for everything that happens. A final farewell to Dot Cotton. EastEnders icon June Brown dies at the age of 95. Browsing by the bakery counter, how John Travolta surprised shoppers at a supermarket in Norfolk. Good evening. U.S. President Joe Biden tonight called for Russia's President Putin to stand trial for war crimes as international outrage increases over atrocities carried out in Ukraine. The bodies of civilians, some of them with bound hands, sign of torture and close range bullet wounds have been found in Bucha, close to the capital Kyiv. Ukraine's president today visited the town and said the world would recognize what had happened as genocide. ITV News has seen some of the horrors carried out by Russian troops and a warning that this report from our correspondent Dan Rivers contains footage of some of the victims which you may find upsetting and hard to watch.